Kevin, uh, the other day you were very uh, descriptive about the defense and the gimmick defense the Clippers threw at you. What was what did you see tonight? What was different? Why were you so effective? Uh, I think Coach called a couple more plays for me and to start the game, and you know, I think uh, you know doing that kind of set the tone. You know, just putting pressure on the defense through post ups, through dribble handoffs, and uh, I think that was something that we talked about this morning, just consciously, just. Uh, you know, with the way they play, just coming off a lot of Andrew Bucking screens and, you know, sitting in the post. And if they double, guys are moving. We're just more patient tonight, you know, to sum it up. Kevin, after, hey Kevin, after you got your second foul, what was key in still being able to play your game without getting more? Well, I just keep playing the same way. I, know, I feel like the first two weren't fouls. Pavy here with Hoops and Brews. Kevin, did you try to make it a point to come out and kind of remind people exactly who you are with all the talk that's been going on in this series? Uh, I've been here for 12 years and I'm 30. I don't, need to t I don't need to show nobody nothing at this point. Yeah, Kevin, for you, the statement, I am Kevin Durant, and then to follow that proclamation up with the way you played, where do you feel that need comes from? Uh, I think a lot of people who watch the game, who analyze the game, thought that uh, I should uh, be uh, engaging in a one-on-one -on -one physical battle, whatever that is, to other people with Patrick Beverly, and you know, I, I don't, I don't do that type of stuff. I just play. So uh, that's what I was trying to let people know. You, you mentioned all the screens you came off with Bogut. Uh, how good has he been for you guys? He's just a smart basketball player, man. Just, uh, you know, obviously being here and knowing the system helps, but. You know, I think he could play that way anywhere, you know, just directing the offense when he needs to, rebounding, being in the right spots, his talking, his energy, just everything since he's been here been top of the line, you know, just especially his talk, you know, how he's just guiding guys out there every possession is something we definitely needed. Kevin, wondering how, if at all, the dynamic changes a little bit with DeMarcus out. Uh, for, for me? Oh uh, yeah, uh, I think um, you know if, dude, when Demarcus uh, started playing for us uh, late in the season, I think we want, definitely wanted to establish him in the post a lot to start games. You know what I'm saying? And his presence down there was uh, very positive for us. So without him in the lineup, I think Coach just used me in his spots. Um, Kevin, uh, you guys have had you know trouble sometimes keeping that consistency during the regular season, and you know with Game Two, how do you keep that? Do whatever you had tonight on for a consistent basis throughout the Me? Season. No, the team. I think uh, everybody in the arena kind of relaxed just a split second last game, even the fans, you know, even the executives on the sideline just watching. I uh, wish Bob was in here. Uh, and obviously the players and the coaches, you know. I just think everybody felt like we had that game in hand last game. And... Um, 30-point lead, I mean, like, it's, that hasn't happened in 30-something years. So it's kind of natural and normal for anybody watching that game to kind of relax, right, even at home. So, you know, but the players can't do that, and I think we did that. And, you know, I think that was just a, a small lesson that we can learn from. But our focus has been on point since um, late March, with the exception of, like, six minutes last game. That's one or two. Right Tomer Zarley from Clutch Points. Kevin. You guys have aspirations for a deep playoff run. Kind of got that third tech today. What what happened there? And, and what do you have? Do you have to do anything different to sort of stray away from those? I mean, we're me and Jim Michael Green. We're just kind of, we're, we're conversing about the play that happened before, just like you and I. And somebody came out of nowhere and teched us both. How would you feel? That was that was pretty quick. Now, hopefully, they were send that one because you know. I don't want anybody to think that somebody's in my head. That's why I got that text. So I, I, I just want to get that out the way because I don't want to jeopardize my team in the future. Connor Letourneau, San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, Kevin, lots made of Kavan's defensive versatility. What do, you, what do you think of his offense and his awareness on that side of the ball? Uh, I mean, we all know what Loon could do on the defensive side of the ball. He's a smart basketball player, but I think just about everybody in our locker room has just been on him to shoot those mid ranges, the ones that he gets at the elbows, just around that 12, 13 foot area that he should be shooting because they look good and he worked on them. So, you know, tonight he got a lot of opportunities to knock them down. He was five for seven. I mean, he's been phenomenal this series as far as efficiency and on the offensive side of the ball. 
along with his defense. So um, we we gonna continue to we don't need him to continue to just shoot those. You know what I'm saying? And just to keep people at bay. So um, definitely excited for him throughout this series because his confidence is growing. Last question on the right here. Okay, over the last month or so, you've been you know pass first, been distributor for the team. That's not true. That's not? No, I don't pass up shots. I just play within the offense. Oh, I, I say, okay. Well, you've been more of a distributor. Is that safe to say? Yeah, it's because how oh, we play. Okay, that's why. Tonight, you wasn't, right? Yeah, because Coach called more plays for All me right, to start. Okay, so moving forward, do you think that it will be a, a game-by-game case basis as far as how you approach the game? Look, this is I don't run the show. Any team I've ever been a part of, I'm just a player. I'm one of the guys, you know what I'm saying? So whatever my coach needs me to do, whether uh, no matter what it is, I just got to go out there and be prepared for it mentally and physically. So tonight, no different. Thanks, KD. We have one more guest speaker. Just come on, stay in your seats.